Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Rodeo Room Show, and we're experimenting some more with this Retivas RT21 two-ray radio system. It's programmed to work on the FRS channels, and um, you can uh, transmit and communicate without a license because it's two watts or less output power. Now, I did some investigation about the FRS and the GMRS. Now, the GMRS, I believe you still have to have a license. You don't have, I don't think you have to take any exam or anything. You just have to apply for a license. There might be a fee to get a license, and you can operate at higher power. But as of uh, a couple of months ago, the government changed things and expanded the FRS frequencies that you can use. And I'm running uh, my SDR Uno right now, and I found a file that was uh, probably on the SDR Play website, which had all the GMS ca uh, channels program. So I'm using that file, and it was developed by N. Adams, as you can see at the top there, right up here. And since now, according to what I read, um, the you can now transmit on the GMS channels and using them as FRMS, FRS, if you keep your transmitter power to a minimum. Now, I got a website up here, right here, I think. And here is where they talk about this, where the FCC has changed this. And if you come down here where I was before, here is the FRS slash GR. GMRS combined band plan. So <clears throat> you can now see that you can operate under FRS or GMRS. And then here is the maximum power you can transmit in uh, for FRS and GMRS. So you can see FRS is 2 watts for this particular channel and GRMS is 5 watts. Again, if you stay under 2 watts, you don't have to have a license. That's my understanding. If you go up above that, um, you're going to have to have a, a, li a GMRS license. So, it used to be FRS was only... Okay, I'm listening. Let me, I'll tell you in a minute what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> maybe. So, you... Before, GMRS was, I mean, FRS was only good for 16 channels, the first 16 ch channels. And GMRS was above that. Now, they have included both, just the restriction of the power. So, I thought that these radios were pre-programmed, because they only, they, only, they only have 16 channels. Um, for the first 16, but the local company that's near me, which I hear a lot during the day now, is according to, according to STR Uno, is on channel 22. So I was supposed to get the programming cable for these radios yesterday, it didn't come. Thanks to the United States Post Office, it did not arrive. Or it went to the wrong person. Anyway, so I don't have that. But once I get that programming cable, I can look and see what frequencies these radios are programmed for. Alrighty. Now, let's go back and I'll show you what I'm doing right this minute. Is I've got this memory bank loaded up for GMRS. And I'm doing a memory scan of all these frequencies. These are the 22 plus 
there are some additional, and I believe these are for GMRS only, repeater frequencies. I'm scanning those too. And I am getting, the only hit I'm getting is on channel 22 at 462.725. So I'm a little confused what the Retivas radios are programmed to. I thought they were programmed from 1 to 16 channels. And I'm on channel 16. As a matter of fact, I can vary that by just turning a 15. 15. 16. So I'm on 16, which I thought would be this frequency here. So I'm a little confused by that. Maybe you can see something obviously I'm doing wrong, but that's confusing. Anyway, so <clears throat> the radios are receiving great on that channel 16, which apparently, and I double checked it uh, with this website. Let me go back to the website for a second. Uh, 22 is 462.725, and that is what STR Uno is saying that it's receiving those transmissions on. So I, I've got to investigate once I get that programming cable and can download what's in the radios. Anyway, um, what we're planning on doing is can do some... I'll call it range testing to give you an idea of the range of these radios. First test I'm going to do, well, not necessarily in order, it depends on conditions. But the first test I'm planning on doing is an in-house test where, say it's a situation where someone in your family is sick and they're in a bedroom and they need to call you from time to time to like bring them their medicine or help them up or whatever. We're going to see how that works. And my house configuration is a two-story house. I'm in my workshop right now. And uh, that is that is the opposite end of my house. In other words, the master bedroom is on the second story and it's on the west side of the house. The workshop is first story on the east side of the house. So I have maximum number of walls between the two radios. And what I'll do is I'll leave one radio down here and I'll have the recorder going, the camera capture going, and I'll go upstairs and transmit upstairs and give you an idea of um, the capabilities and I'll probably put it on like channel 10 or something, something that's not being used. Then after I do that show, then I'll do a show where I give you an example of neighborhood communications. Communicating between your neighbors, kind of like a maybe a neighborhood watch or something like that. And so what I'll do is I'll have, the, again, the radio set on receive down here in my workshop. And then I'll... <clears throat> As you can see, that was 62725, I believe I said, which is 22, channel 22. So, I don't know. They, they really don't tell you what frequencies are programmed from the factory. So, maybe they did like 1 through 15 and then 22. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they skipped around. We'll know when I get the program. Okay. But anyway, as far as testing. So then I'll do that neighborhood test where I'll go, you know, um, half a mile, a quarter of a mile, whatever, and transmit to the radio that's in my workshop. Then I will do a longer distance. And what I'll do, I'll set up the camera again set up the radio to receive in my workshop and then I'll go drive to various locations and I'll determine the line of sight distance to those locations and see how it does. It's supposed to be good for a couple of miles. We'll see. That's it. If you have any questions or comments or things you want me to try, please let me know. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up and have a great day. Bye-bye.